So Radical Relocation is a game about putting stuff on cars in order to move the things from one destination to the other. It's basically a puzzle game, but it's got cars and it's got physics, and that's just right up my alley. This is the demo of the game. I've only done the first six levels, but let's go ahead and start off with the very first one so you can get the gist of where this thing is going. I've already unlocked the ute, but you start off with a sedan and you just kind of put the uh, stuff onto it. Press begin and drive. That's pretty much it, although the uh, destination is just over here. You can move the camera around, you don't have to watch it from a side view like I was doing, and you can also move the uh, boxes and stuff around as well, uh, whatever ha it happens to be. But it starts off pretty simple, basically just picking up stuff, putting it on the car, and uh, getting it over to the destination. In this case, it's uh, right over here. I should say as well that uh, I was given a key for this game by the publisher. The game is out on Steam, it has a demo. This is the open beta version, or the, the current beta version that they've given out to uh, to be reviewed. Okay, so you can kind of see right away that things have gotten a little bit more complex. Basically, I have to fit a fridge, a table, a couple of, uh, of miscellaneous objects onto this car to try and get it around. And this one is another sort of semi-complicated map. If it has turns, it's going to be difficult. And that's basically what we have here. So we have two options of ways to go. Trying to fit this fridge on is not easy. Uh, I can spin it like this, and I believe you can spin it the other way as well. Yeah, so I had to check the controls, but if you press space, you can lay stuff flat, uh, which <laughs> I guess means like that for the table. That's not really quite what I wanted, but this seems to be a pretty good setup here if you don't care about seeing where you're going. <laughs> If you're having difficulty with the levels, you can click upgrades and give yourself extra time. I haven't had to use that yet, but again, I'm only six levels in. Uh, but yeah, it's just arrow keys to move and then the mouse is the camera. Let me see if I can do this without anything falling off. Oh, that, that briefcase is starting to go, and I lost it. Okay, I'm confident that I can do it this time, I just have to be a little bit more careful. And I'm gonna take it, oh, right into a tree. Okay, third time is the charm, this time I'm going to avoid the tree. The curbs are actually a bit of an issue. Uh, in that briefcase, my goodness. Okay, I need to put the briefcase on the opposite end. You know what, why don't I just lay the briefcase down flat? That's probably a smart thing to do. And then that'll allow me to uh, hopefully have it not fall off because it won't be as tippy. Yeah, there we go, nice and easy, and we'll just motor on into the finish. So the way to unlock vehicles is you get parts. Uh, as you can see, I have them here. I have five bodies, but none of the cars that I have need bodies. The way that this system works is uh, pretty simple. Basically, you just give the component to whatever car happens to need it. So I have excess wheels, or I have excess uh, bodies and wheels at this point, but I, I know some of these cars need an engine. And then I just unlock the van because I have all the components for it. Although, to be honest, I don't know why you would use the van because the ute is uh, really darn good. Okay, let's jump ahead over to level 6. Things are getting a little bit more complicated at this point. You can see there are quite a few pieces of different furniture here that I can try and use. Let me switch to the van. Okay, so it has a big uh, flat spot on the roof that I guess you could put stuff on, but I do like the use, uh, just as a general rule of thumb so far. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to hang this thing out the back. <laughs> Okay, never mind, that's not gonna go well. So I tried to do this one before, but I didn't know that you can lay things flat, and uh, now I should be able to do it a little bit better. If I can just pick this up, put it on there, again, completely disregard the driver's ability to see. And then I'm thinking this table as well, I might be able to just put it right here. That's, oh, <laughs> oh, you know what, maybe like that, that's not the worst thing ever. Okay, I've glitched it so that it's kind of stuck on there, I don't know if that's actually gonna work or not, um, but I'll put all the rest of the stuff in the back. Let's lay this TV flat if I can. Yeah, the big challenge here is all these small pots, so if I can just lay them down, then I'll be doing myself a service. Basically just gotta try and find a little spot for them to fit into, like right there, and then they'll just kind of fall into place. Same thing here. So I'm gonna place this there, and then it'll fall where I want it to go, and let's give this uh, a contraption a go. Hold on though, where, where do we need to be? So you can see the map has opened up a little bit, basically I need to take a left and then continue on straight down the main road and then another left and then another left. Okay, I'm gonna end up forgetting that, but here we go. And begin. So far so good. Uh, that box is looking a little bit conspicuous. I suspect that it's probably gonna fall, <laughs> but I'll try to be careful with it. Okay, and then I think I need to make a left here, probably not though. Oh, that's wrong. 
That's wrong. <laughs> it's a good thing they give me a bunch of time for this one. Okay, I'm just gonna try and do this bit in reverse, uh, because I should have made a right there. That's okay though. Okay, I am going the right direction, and I'm just traveling there in reverse. I'm afraid of turning around. I'm not gonna get a good score here, but I'm safely, uh, it's safely gonna make it. That's my, that's my goal. Okay, there we go. Coming around town, and I should just be able to kind of deke in here. I believe it's this left here. You can hardly see there. There we go. And just fly on in. Oh wait, did I lose something? So something that's important to note is you don't actually have to travel on the roads if you don't want to. You can try and brave the wilderness if you're feeling lucky. Uh, like theoretically if the area that I needed to go to was faster, or if it was faster for me to drive through the forest like this, then I could definitely do it. Uh, let's do, go ahead and do it now. <laughs> we may as well. I think it might- oh, never mind. I forgot that those trees have collision. A lot of collision, in fact. Okay, this box has been giving me a lot of trouble. Uh, but I moved it to a different location, and so far it seems to be good. I know we're not allowed to break stuff in this map, from what I can tell, so if I break a vase, then it's probably not going to count. But come on, game, let me have this one, please. And... oh, thank goodness, that was really quick, too. Next one is... oh, goodness, a piano, barbecue, a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, no. And how far do I need to go? All the way across the town, and it's just down this narrow corridor, so left, around town, and then straight down and to the left again. Okay, let me see if I can package this up first. Okay, the piano is an obvious issue because it's massive. Uh, I'm gonna have to put that upside down, I think. Maybe on the hood, perhaps, if it'll let me. This is the one thing about this game that I am not fond of. Like, I don't like this system where it goes red when it uh, when it's not on there. I'm assuming that's just to avoid things clipping into the actual body of the vehicle, but it would be great if I could just place things wherever I want. I think that would make it a lot more fun. It'll, it would allow for a lot more weird contraptions, and uh, that's just the point of this game, isn't it? Like, as an example, the piano does not want to go flat on the back of the truck uh, for whatever reason, so <laughs> I guess I could just drop it. <laughs> that always works. Or we could go ahead and switch to the van. I really like how the vehicles have uh, suspension physics as well. When you put stuff down, it's like it's moving around under the weight. Really cool. Okay, I'm gonna put the grill back here, and then uh, we. after this I'm gonna see if I've unlocked any new vehicle possibilities, because this van is real garbage. Uh, but let's put this flat and uh, attempt our voyage like this. My goodness, that does not seem safe. Okay, so we're kind of weighted down a little bit on the front left because of the piano. I'm gonna have to take this one real, real slowly. It would be an interesting task to try and play this entire game through with just the car, but uh, yeah, having these other vehicles makes it a lot more interesting, and I know that there's a trailer as well, as can be seen through uh, some of the promotional images. Okay, we're going down this way, we need to go through that- oh, there's a train. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. And just as I think I've got a handle on this game, they put a train in there and uh, completely messed me up. Obviously, it's put there on purpose. Hopefully, it's not too frequent, otherwise this is going to become a disaster. I'm wondering, though, if it's just a scripted- oh. Yeah. Yeah, what I was attempting to say there before I brutally failed was, I wonder if the train is a scripted- oh my goodness, no. <laughs> if it's a scripted event or not, because if it is, then that just makes things a lot more difficult. Okay, let me see what other vehicles I have, because this is not working out at all. Okay, I have some more components. I'd love to unlock maybe the, uh, the big truck here, that would be great. We'll give the chassis to this stuff. Nothing needs wheels, this needs a transmission, and ah, I'm missing a body for it. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, level 7 might actually kill me uh, just because of its brutal difficulty as of, as of right now. Um, <laughs> let me just back this stuff up. We need as much space for that piano as we can get, uh, and I really, really do not have a lot of space to, <laughs> to work with here. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. It's on the flat side and the heavier end of it as well. I'm gonna have to be really darn cautious because I'm wearing a piano crown at this point. Alright, my piano crown is still intact, which is good. Let me see if I can just kinda drive around here and have it not fall off. That would be the ideal scenario. Uh, I don't know what happened to the timer. 
uh, but I probably have already failed this. Okay, so it would appear that the train is a scripted event, and it does mean that my piano falls off every time because I try and stop for it. I'm just going to have to go really darn slowly through that part because as of right now, it's not really working. Okay, so my genius solution to this problem unfortunately broke the game there and it would not let me exit the level, <laughs> so I had to restart, but that's okay. Uh, let me try this one more time <laughs> with this current setup, and then I think I'm going to put the piano at the back and this other stuff at the front, uh, because at this point, stopping at all just leads to immediate disaster, so obviously I can do something better than this. I've put the heaviest object on the front, and yeah, my fault. Also, I could totally just start stacking objects, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Let's make a Leaning Tower of Pisa if this somehow fails, and it immediately has failed. <laughs> Alright, I'm moving these things out of the way, and I'm moving the piano back. Actually, let's just put it nice and central. Uh, if the piano is centered like this, then I can take the grill and put it here, and then move that up a little bit, and then we can put this stuff on top of the piano. And actually, you know what, why don't I just lay that down? That's probably for the better. And we'll just lay that down up there. See, that is perfectly stable right there. No problems at all. Okay, uh, we're on our grand voyage of very likely success. Uh, my goodness. Okay, the piano is uh, tipped to the side just that little extra, which is mildly unnerving. And I believe uh, I should be okay to stop unless the grill flies off. Oh, that's a pull. Okay, my new strategy is fairly simple. I'm gonna take these objects and, uh, well, I'll move this one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, my goal here is fairly simple. I just want to move this to the side as much as it'll go, and then I'll put this over on this side, and that should stay. Uh, all of this is theoretical. And now with my newfound superpowers, I'm gonna try and drive my white van through the city streets with this piano on the roof. Do not try this at home, kids. Okay, I got to turn a little bit earlier this time. I was afraid of the curb last time, uh, but it seems like the curb is only an issue if you happen to uh, go off of the actual main road. And then we'll wait for the scripted train event. That always seems to happen here. I should be okay. Uh, apparently it's not quite as scripted as I thought. It didn't appear this time. But that is not looking good. The grill is falling off. Stay with me, grill. Come on. Don't go now. It's not worth it. And the train tracks have done me in. Okay, no, I got lucky. And there's the train there. Okay, so the grill is balancing ever so uh, precariously on the front of the car. Again, don't worry about having to see. That's a garbage bin. Thank goodness it has physics. But it didn't count anyways. Come on, game. Okay, I've drawn new inspiration from the uh, the thing that we just witnessed there. Uh, maybe if I lay the grill flat, that'll help me out too. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Just lay everything flat. Okay, so if you hit anything, you're done. That's what I found out today. But as long as I'm okay here, uh, just going nice and slowly. There's the train again. I like how the train changes color between white and red. Don't know why they added that detail. Oh, that's bad. Okay, do not take the train tracks at speed. That's what I'm learning today. Gotta go real slowly when you've got stuff on the roof. Nice and slowly again. That piano jump forward uh, an amount that I uh, would not care to uh, c consider. Let's go ahead and just try to get done with this. Don't hit that, please. Okay. And then the final challenge is to get to the finish, which looks to be right over there. Uh, yeah, in, in the middle of the road, thankfully. If it was in somebody's driveway, I might have issues, but... I should be okay. There we go, my goodness, three stars. And because I got another body, I was hoping uh, to unlock something else here. Oh yes, we got the truck. Thank goodness, okay, I'm definitely gonna equip that. Okay, so my guess with the truck is that it, oh wow. How could you even fit this stuff on a car? Like that's a, that's a full on ping pong table. What am I going to do with this? Okay, so in the top uh, corner here it says we need the cardboard boxes, the fridge, the coffee table, kitchen sink, and I guess this counts as the table? It just says table, it doesn't say ping pong or, or whatever, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, there also does appear to be a little bit of a, a, an opening here that something might fit into if it was a bit smaller, maybe a briefcase or something, which is cool. Uh, I don't have anything to use that with, but yeah, if we need to, then we can. Okay, so I'm going to take the fridge, and I'm going to leave it upright, um, because we have this 
nice walled area, but I'm actually going to put it at the back and I'll put this sink beside it if it'll fit. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. And I'm hoping that I can flip this upside down on here and then take this, flip that upside down uh, and then wait, there we go, and then put it on here. Yeah, that's, that's the most stable thing I've ever done so far. And that might actually be really useful because you can put things on another level. Uh, I think I've come up with some moving genius here. Alright, here we go. Uh, not really sure where to go. I probably should have figured that out, but I'm guessing it's over that way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta stay out of the trees, although my inclination after playing a lot of SnowRunner and seeing a big truck is just to kind of go near the trees. But this is really stable so far, so it's all about speed. I guess that's what this whole truck is about though. You, you can fit a lot more into it, but you have to go slower. And then I immediately crash. Okay, so our objective is pretty darn far away. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to drive a significant route here all the way to the other end. And then hopefully I can do it at, at a reasonable pace. I want to continue to get three stars. I'm not even done the first ten levels yet and it's already getting like this. Oh, those are trees and okay. Thankfully it didn't KO me, but uh, it appears to be a construction zone up there. That's pretty interesting. Like, the cities that I'm driving in are just getting more and more vast. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I like this game a lot, actually. I think it's relative simplicity, plus the uh, physics. I I'm down for physics and cars. The driving feels okay, and yeah, the game itself is fun. And there's the objective over there. I'm gonna try and drive through these trees. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm not. Oh, the table, the table. Okay, I'm gonna make it through the trees. A uh, minute and a half left. There it is, come on. Let's do one more level after this and we'll end this off, but... Oh wait, did I miss something? <laughs> Let me back it on in here. Yeah, it would appear that I broke something. Oh, actually, yeah, I broke the box right there. Okay, uh, let's restart. Obviously, it's still a little bit rough around the edges. It'd be nice if the game restarted for me in that situation. Like if I broke one of the boxes, which I definitely did there. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. It's just a little bit of a nuisance. Something that could be cool in this game is uh, bonus furniture. I'm not sure if they have uh, implemented that in later levels or not, but... Oh, that's a tree. <laughs> oh no, the fridge. The fridge is open. I'm not sure if this is going to count as a KO or not, because the fridge is opened up, but... Yeah, if, if there was bonus furniture in levels, like if you um, put in this extra fridge or something on top of your car, then then you're uh, going to... Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. But what I was saying is bonus bonus stuff gives more points, that would be kind of cool. And then there are also situations like this where the game is obviously done, but it doesn't pop up with the menu, so I have to restart the game. Kind of a pain. And looks like I just unlocked the SUV, which is great. I uh, definitely needed that one. It seems that the engine is the thing that I'm missing for most of these cars, but yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, to playing more of this, so yeah. Thank you to the developers again for giving me a chance to play this game early. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can check it out on Steam. Just go and uh, find the demo. Radical Relocation is what it's called, and I'm looking forward to seeing where the development of it goes. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> if you want to see me play more of this, just let me know, and I'll see you guys again next time. It's always great to see support on these videos, especially through uh, publishers and developers giving me a chance to play games. I like that a lot. But these guys here are the consistent supporters of the channel financially, so uh, you guys make these smaller videos possible. We have Canadian Steel, Overlord, Dr. Ivo, That Rice to Explore, QT Bear, Terry Williams, The Most Random Person, Sick D, Cars and Stuff, Boris Ramirez, Jug, Jacob, and Ruben. Thank you guys for your support. Appreciate all of you a lot, as I always say, but I really do. See you guys again next time.